Hi YouTube, back in March of 2020 I made a video on how to use an old iMac as a secondary monitor for your new iMac. That worked perfectly for quite a while, but I've recently started getting a lot of complaints that it no longer works. Apparently, Apple's latest operating system, which I assume is Monterey, no longer supports this. Even though the hardware totally supports this, they've changed their software so it no longer works. I unfortunately can't try this on my own setup because I'm down south for the winter and only brought one computer with me. In case this video is useful for anybody else, I'm going to put the old video at the end of this video. And this is the disclaimer at the front saying, this may not work, so you might not want to invest in the cables necessary to do this. Also, I have in the description a link that used to bring you to an article that talked about how you could do this. That link now brings you to the Mac OS user guide. I'm not sure why Apple chose to remove this feature, but it appears they have. I don't want to put misinformation out there that this works when apparently it no longer works. In the old video, I referred to the cables required as lightning cables, which are the things that your iPhone is connected to, but that's not what they are. They are Thunderbolt cables, lightning and thunder, Easy to confuse. Everywhere where I say lightning, it's a Thunderbolt cable that is used to connect the two iMacs together. Hey YouTube, today I'm going to tell you how to use an old iMac as a secondary monitor if you get a new iMac. So I had a 2012 iMac, which according to everything I read, had a lightning port, which should be able to connect to the lightning port on this computer, and I should be able to use this as a secondary monitor for this. So I bought this cable, which costs $39.99 at my local Apple retailer. On the back of my old Mac there are two lightning ports and this connected right into one. On the back of my new Mac there are two lightning ports and this doesn't fit. This is a USB-C lightning port. So I went back to the store hoping to buy a cable that was USB-C on one end and lightning on the other end, but there is no such cable and you can't find one anywhere. So I had to buy this cable which converts lightning to USB-C. And this cable, this one costs $39.99, this converter $49.99. Ridiculous, but I figure selling this is useless because you're not going to get any money for it. It's very slow. It only has 8 gig of RAM. This, I put 40 gig of RAM in, and it's like a world of difference. It's not that much better processor, but it's having the extra memory helps so much when you're making videos, especially 4K videos or 360 videos. This was not the end of the problems that I had, so the next thing I did was I hooked this up. So I took this and plugged it into here, and then I plugged this into my USB-C connector. So right now these are two independent computers. I can close down that, and I can close down that. They both have the same background, but they're two independent computers. And if I want to make this be a secondary monitor for this, I need to go to the keyboard hold down the command and press F2. And when I do that, nothing happens. And the reason for that is because this is not the original keyboard. This is an anchor keyboard. This is the original keyboard for this computer. So what I wanted to do was hook this keyboard up to that and see if it would work. But I didn't want to redo the Bluetooth thing. So what you can actually do is take your, this is like an iPhone type cable, and you can plug that into the back of this directly. And then you can take your USB connector and plug that into the back of there. And now, this keyboard is connected directly to there, and I can hit Command F2, and my screen went blank, and now, this is a secondary monitor to this computer, so let me bring up mail or something. And I can 
drag my mail over to that side. Boom, how do you like that? Pretty cool, huh? So now I can have my mail up there, and I can be doing stuff over here. If I'm tired of doing stuff over there, I can move it over here, and then I can move it back. If your little menu thing disappears, like if I come over to this side, and if I hover down, if I hover down low over here with my mouse, the taskbar or whatever that's called ends up over there. And then in order to get it back over here, my mouse is right here. And then I come down to the bottom and just hover there for a little bit. Maybe hover there a little longer. And now here it comes. So you get it really, really close to the bottom to get the taskbar to switch back and forth. But anyway, that was kind of a nightmare and way more expensive because I had to buy both of these cables. But if you want to use your old iMac as a secondary monitor, which is fabulous. Having us two monitors is huge. It's so productive. Oops, left off one thing. This keyboard needs to be connected to this computer. And I can either just use it like this with Bluetooth, or if I want to charge it up, I can connect it to the back. So anyway, that um, is how you do it. Thanks for watching.